I just got out of the shower, and uh, I've heard that's the best place to think. I don't know if that's true or not, but I think it might be. I was just thinking about it, it being a kid again, and how great it would be to go back, not even to like, not even to like be like a child child again. I'm talking even high school. When you're young, you say, oh, I can't wait till I'm 16. I'm going to get a car. I'm going to drive everywhere. And then you turn 16 and it's like car insurance and gas and it just gets expensive. <clears throat> and then you're like, you know what? Can't wait till I'm 18. I'm going to move out, make my own rules, do whatever I want. Then you turn 18, you go out on your own, and you're like, fuck, rent isn't cheap. You have to go to work every day, and it sucks. And then, like, oh, when I turn 21, it's going to be awesome to be able to drink, do whatever I want. It gets old real quick. You know, you, yeah, you can drink legally, but... After your first night out, it's sort of an age at that point. There's nothing more to it. When we're kids, we spend all this time looking forward to being older. Like, yeah, it seems great at the time, and then all these responsibilities come in. And it just keeps getting harder and harder. I'm sure it'll get easier at some point. It has already. You get used to it. I think the biggest mistake I ever made about wanting to grow up... <clears throat> is wanting to grow up so bad and not listening to my parents on the way up there. And my parents are divorced, so they weren't in the same house. They couldn't collaborate on the advice that they gave me. There are many choices that I've made that wouldn't have turned out the way they had turned out had I listened to my parents. Yeah, when you're young, you're like, you know, my mom would be like, oh, Chris, don't do that. You're not going to want to do that. Be like, you know what, Christy, whatever. And then I would go and do that thing. And it would blow up in my face. I'd be like, Mom, why didn't you tell me? And I remember, she did tell me it was going to happen. There were quite a few times where I'm like, I don't care what my mom's saying. She doesn't know what she's talking about. It's not the same thing that she went through. Look, your parents, no matter how much you say, nope. Nope. They don't know anything. They're not trying to help. No matter how many times you say that, it's not going to change the fact that they are your parents. And ultimately, they want you to succeed. You know, yeah, they might give you some poor advice sometimes. Everybody's human. Everybody makes mistakes. Give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm saying nine times out of ten, they're going to give you the right advice. Nowadays, if something comes up and, you know, I have to make a choice that I don't think I'm ready for, that's who I call. I call my mom, I call my dad. As you get older, you start to realize maybe they're onto something. I don't think I realize that soon enough. But then again, not a lot of people do. Basically what I'm saying is don't rush to grow up. Never rush to grow up. You know, while you're while you're young, and I'm not talking young like in your 20s, because your 20s can still be fun, but you're just still an adult. You still have to... You know, you're now responsible for yourself. It's not your parents' problem if you go to jail or if you can't pay rent. That's not their problem anymore once you turn 18. But I'm talking when you're a kid, when you're still in high school. You know, there's people in high school who are my best friends in high school that I barely talk to now. And that's simply for the fact that I just don't see them every day. We have conflicting schedules. It happens. Think about things like that. Like the fact that yeah, you got to wake up early and you got to go learn boring stuff. You're not going to use the Pythagorean theorem ever. Unless you go into a math field, never. Jeopardy. Like family night when you're all watching Jeopardy, you're trying to win. That's when you're going to use that. No other point in time. But you get to see your friends every single day. You know, you don't have to worry about the bill is going to get paid. Am I going to eat this week? Stuff like that. It's. You don't have a lot to worry about. You know. When you're a kid and you get sick. You lay on the couch and watch cartoons all day. When you're an adult and you get sick. You go to work. 
There are some things that take me back to being a child. One of them being Dino Nuggets. Every once in a while I'll catch like an old movie on the Disney Channel. Like Brink? Who fucking doesn't love Brink? Brink's fucking awesome. And it just makes you remember those days. So, I really don't know why I'm making this video. Because this is literally just thoughts that I have. But I think every once in a while, maybe an outside source who isn't your mom or your dad or an older brother or an aunt or an uncle. Maybe even your grandparents. Because they're always saying, listen to your parents. They know best. It gets old. Be an outside source saying, hey, give mom and dad a chance. They've already been there. They've already done that. Maybe sometimes that's the best way to go. No, I'm not old by any means. I'm not. I'm still young. I'm 21 years old. But even at 21 years old, there's days where you just want to go back. You know, maybe that's just me. I'm sure if you haven't felt it yet, one day will come. where you are just like, where you just want to go back. We just want to go back and be able to wake up on a weekend and not have to go put in overtime. Wake up and there's snow on the ground and you don't have to go to school anymore. You know, just little things that make you remember your childhood. Make you want to go back to it sometime.